Let's go ahead and understand and check out the weather listing screen. You have already seen the weather listing screen, which kind of looks like this. It displays a list of weather information with Houston as a city or city names like Denver, Boston, Austin, Dallas, and so on, and also the temperature of that corresponding city. The whole weather listing screen is controlled and represented by one view model. This view model is called the weather list view model, and that represents the entire screen of the weather listing. When we go further drill down into the weather listing screen, you will see that each of the cells is identified by a UI table view cell. And each of these cells is identified also by a, another view model, which is called the weather view model. So if you can guess right now, a weather list view model contains an array of weather view models. This gives us a flexible environment so that if you later add any controls to the weather list screen, like a search bar or even a segmented control, we can simply make an adjustment to our weather list view model to reflect those changes. Let's go ahead and see that what our add city weather view controller looks like where we add a particular city to the view model. 